What if you could start out every presentation with a clean blank slide like this? And then when you went to add a new slide, you had just a handful of really simple layouts that would help you to communicate effectively, whether that was a photo, a keyword or phrase, or a significant number you wanted to communicate in your presentation. Well, today, I'm gonna to show you how you can make some simple changes to the basic themes that come in Keynote so that your presentations can start out this way and be this simple from a starting point every single time. When you create a new slide presentation in Keynote on your iPad, it usually starts you out with this title and subtitle slide that I pretty much have never used. And when you go to pick a new slide, you have all these different slides to pick from over here, and many of them are slides that are too busy and don't follow basic rules of good, effective presentations. So here we are inside the Choose a Theme page in Keynote for iPad. And this is where it starts you out when you want to create a new presentation. It has some subcategories at the top, so we're going to pick basic for today. And then we're going to start out with black. When you open it up, it has this basic slide that's title and subtitle that we're pretty much never going to use. And so what we're going to do instead is click on your paintbrush icon and go down here to where it says edit slide layout. Now on the left here, we have all the different types of slide layouts that they want you to start with. For a basic black slide, we want to click and drag the blank slide all the way to the top here. So it's the very first one. And then below that, we had this photo slide. We're going to slide that layout all the way to the top. And we're going to drop it right below that. Now our first slide layout is basic black. Then we have a photo. Title and subtitle, side title we're not going to use. So we're going to delete that one. This photo horizontal we're not going to use, so we're going to clean that one out and delete it. Title text in the center, really simple, we're going to keep that one. Might have a photo, we want to have some descriptive words for, so leave that there. Don't have use for this slide, so we're going to delete that. Bullet points should be broken down into individual slides, so we're going to go ahead and delete those. Three different slide layouts for bullets that so you shouldn't even have in the first place. Here's another photo template that we might actually use layout, and there's a quote. Okay, so now we can click done. And with this presentation, when we go down here to click a new slide, we have six simple options to choose from. Blank, photo, title text in the center, a vertical photo with some descriptive words, three different spots to put photos, or a quote. Very, very simple. And now the trick here is to go to the dot menu here on the right and choose export. In the very bottom here, choose Keynote Theme. And then you're going to choose this button here where it says Add to Theme Chooser. And at the bottom here for My Themes, it's now added it. And we're going to change that name. And we're going to call it Black. And I'm going to add it Might because that's my name. Now, when I want to go and create a presentation, I can choose a theme and go to my themes and here's that black mic theme. And when I open it up, it starts off with a blank slide. When I want to add more slides, those six basic ones I chose from are the way to go. I want to show you a little advanced tip here. In this academy theme that I've updated, when we open it up, it starts out with a photo slide. And the reason for that is if you look at the blank slide, it's just white. So any theme that has a white or black blank slide, I put the photo in first so it gives me a little hint just from looking at the options what's going to be in there. But you can see in here I've added a palette slide. Most of the themes that are in Keynote have a basic palette of colors they work with. And so I've set up a slide so I can go through and look and know that whatever I make, if I use these colors in my presentation, that'll keep it all looking uniform and together. Here are my themes. These are about 14 different themes I've gone through in Keynote on my iPad and customized for that kind of setup that I just showed you. I know that some of you have no interest in doing the work to set all that up. You'd rather just get up and get running. And so in the description of this video, I actually have links where you can download these themes that I've set up and be off and running on your own. Thanks for checking out this video on slide layouts for Apple's Keynote application for the iPad. 
If this video has been helpful for you, if you give it a like, I'd appreciate that. Uh, if you've got a question or a comment about slide layouts or anything specific to using Keynote, whether that's on an iPad or on a Mac, uh, just leave a comment there below. I'll do my best to get back with you and, and get a conversation going here. Uh, if this was helpful for you and you think someone else might benefit from it, I'd appreciate you hitting that share button and sharing it with someone. And then finally, if you want to know when more content is coming, uh, if you subscribe to this channel, then you'll know when that's coming out slide presentation tips, whether it's for Keynote or Google Slides or Prezi or other software is a one third of the content I'm doing for this channel. And so if you want to know when that's coming, I'd appreciate your subscription there. So thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.